Morning lads, how are we on this fine day? Uh, it's very warm, which is troubling me because it's going to be 24 today. Remember how the UK gets to like 40? <laughs> I always look forward to the heat until I can't handle it. Hilarious. Um, I hope you're well. appreciate this is a Friday, not a Thursday, but I had a really big Thursday. So I wanted to do Thursday and then tell you about it. Um, I literally got up yesterday and I was like, oh, I really want to vlog. And I was like, no, there's so much. And then I feel like Monday is like a rundown of like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is enough for its own vlog. It's it, the experience of those three days is usually enough. So if you're new here, welcome to my vlog where I talk about my life and everything that's in it. Uh, sometimes I do them every day, sometimes I don't. Um, and usually I'm doing my makeup because it's it's a boring time. Well, it's not boring. I actually think makeup is art um, and I love doing art. It's more that it's when I've got time, when I focus. Um, where to start? So I spoke to you on Monday last. So since then, I've had therapy, which is good. And she keeps getting me to, like, she really wants me to hug her because she thinks it will give me emotional support and I don't feel like that's what I want right now. That looks like a little dog, doesn't it? Like a little sausage dog. It's not, it's a blanket. Um. So... It's like in a conflict where I'm like, people please, people please, just do what she wants. And then and then this part of me is like, no, I don't want to do that. So uh, I feel like we'll chat about that next week. Because like, I'm just not ready. Just not ready yet for that, you know? And that's okay. Um, And like, we didn't really talk about anything deep, which is like what I wanted really. I just wanted to talk about surface level shit. Um, because I think I said to you last week, it was just a bit too intense. Therapy last week was just a bit too intense, like I needed a bit of a break from it, so I didn't like hate it too much. Um, let me find my reason. So, yeah, and then I feel like I'm just gonna skip to yesterday. So, yesterday I had my cleaning job, which I was really stressed about because I had a really tight turnaround, but I researched my Hoover. So, you remember me telling you that they've got like a really their hoover is just like a brick and like I can't, it's not going to work for me. Like I was taking my hoover, sorry I'll be done in a second. I was taking my hoover um, but I was using it on like max mode which runs out in six minutes. So obviously I can't clean a huge house if my hoover runs out in six minutes with my own hoover. So um, I was like right and that's what was gave, like made my hips so bad is, is lifting that around. Like I was so awful that night um with my fibromyalgia and pain shit so oh my god have i spoken to you since i saw no i haven't i see i saw physio on monday oh my god we just sorry we'll go back to thursday but we need to i need to update you on this so i've got my crutches which is great but she's literally like nothing i can do to help i'm just gonna discharge you and i was like okay and she was like she literally like was like where's the main problem area well i was like well everywhere everywhere she's like it's mm, not really how we work here um and then she like looked at my hips and like basically when she pulled my legs in towards my body that's when they hurt not like when they were okay she's like i can't really see a pattern here there's nothing indicating why there's like what's specifically causing the pain and i was like it's literally when i pull them in like oh she was just like i've been I've been medically gaslighted so many times in my life. I'm so fucking used to it. Um, but oh, fucking, she just... The more time has gone on, the more angry I've become about it and wish I'd sort of said you shouldn't be in this job, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, and she was like, I don't think you've got fibromyalgia or EDS or bursitis. I think you're just in pain. And I was like, fucking brilliant. Thanks for that. As a rheumatologist that you are not. Um... And my rheumatologist really cares about me and about getting better or like having a manageable existence. 
So I feel I feel like he's going to be fuming and I'm quite excited to go and tell on her to him, to be honest. It's not until next month, but I'm very excited. I feel like he's my dad now and he will be like, that is in unacceptable. I will be having words. But thank you. Thanks, daddy. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so that was funny. Well, it wasn't funny. I was upset, but I've got my crutches. So then on Monday night, because I was having a really bad day on Monday, actually, I actually took my crutches into work and used them to get to the from the car to work. I'll tell you why I had a really fucking bad day on Monday. Because the hospital, right, the hospital had no spaces unless they were on the seventh floor of a seven, eight-story building. And I had to take myself down all the way by stairs. Admittedly, there were no signs telling me there was a lift on the other side of the building. There was nothing. I only found that out on the way back. But I was in pain from doing that walk because exercise is my trigger. So, which is why I was, in a way, I was kind of like, why am I having physio? Because it is exercise that makes it worse. And like, if they're giving me exercises, I already am trying my best. Do you know what I mean? I have physical jobs, which, you know, sometimes I'm like, really, should I be doing these? Because everything hurts so much. Um, and also I work out, like I'm still doing my home workouts. I haven't done any home workouts this week because I've been... I've had like endo pain. We'll get onto that. I have we might have to get onto that before we go back to Thursday, um, but yeah, like uh, that's what. And she was like, "Well, I think you're doing everything like that I would tell you to do anyway." I feel like I made an error in telling her I had a six pack because she, I feel like was like, "Well, clearly you're not in pain then." If you're, I'm like, "Well, my abs aren't in pain." My legs and my hips and my shoulders and my ankles and my wrists and my fingers and thumbs are in pain. <laughs> but I get it. Whatever, bitch. Anyway, right, going to endo. I know if you're a man, you don't want to hear about this, but suck it up and deal with it because it's a huge part of my life. Okay. Um, right, so I'm sure the other day I was like, I've got a hellish week ahead. I'm in so much pain. Okay. Weird things have been going on with my endometriosis. In terms of, I've been like in a little bit of pain in the mornings. Yesterday, not so much so. Today, not at all. And I was like, the fuck's going on? Usually it's like bad, bad, worse, worse, death, death, bad, easy, fine, gone. Um, <laughs> but it's like, it's, it's just vanished. Um, and I've still got like little indications that I'm bleeding, but not. Like, usually it's very obvious. So I don't know what's going on. But I was like, well, it's going to come on Thursday. It's going to be on Thursday. Because Thursday is my death and rebirth day. And it's when I was born and when I had my miscarriage and when my best friend died. And all this shit, right? Um, but it, it didn't happen. And it's now Friday. Oh my god, am I doing my makeup? Sorry. I've had such an ADHD week as well. Um, we have a lot to catch up on. So, yeah, I have no idea what's going on with that. I have been at my psychic circle on Sunday. We were learning about energy healing. And, like, I've been energy healing myself for a while. Um, particularly after reading Wild Feminine by Tammy Lynn Kent. Highly recommend if you have a uterus. Um, however, however, at my psychic circle, our psychic taught us ways of energy healing that I've never used before, particularly where you disperse energy through one of your hands. So one of them is for healing and one of them is for dispersing. Otherwise you can you can end up recycling it in, particularly when you're doing it on yourself. Interesting. And the second thing was I know my left side of my body is my dominant healing side and it's my creative my right brain is my creative brain. I that's where I'm like obviously supernatural powers in. Um so like, it's magical on this side of my body. My right side fucking tries actually it's all right to say it, but it fucking tries but it's not it's just not got it it's not it's not quite there but i've been trying to heal my right ovary with my right hand rather than my left hand healing my right ovary so I, i've been doing that this week in the evenings it's like obviously i'm like maybe that's helped with the pain sitch and whatever's going on there maybe not but maybe maybe it maybe it's helped okay um oh God, i'm so uncomfortable alex's pile of clothes is here would I get away with that? Fuck no. This has been here for weeks. Weeks. Look at that. Just jeans on the floor. They are now my sitting area. Kneeling area. Admittedly, we're in a cupboard. Those are my clothes in a cupboard. Ignore. Um, where was I going? 
are we going back to third? No, ADHD, eh? See how I remembered. Um, yeah, oh my god, so ADHD this week. Um, like, so last night I was having a bath because I was really overwhelmed and stressed of yesterday, which we haven't got into yet. Um, and somebody aggressively knocked on the door. And then rather than, obviously I'm not going to get out of the bath to answer the door. Like, don't, I'm not going to be weird. I'm not that keen. Um, and I hate answering the door anyway. If you watch my vlog from, like, literally when I first got here, I decided I wasn't going to answer the door anymore anyway. And I, I still kind of feel like that. So, um, but it was really aggressive, loud knock. And I was, like, immediately, like, thinking, my car's on fire. Something's happened. Like, it's the police. Like, all this. And I was, like, just sat in the bath thinking, I may have to stay in the bath forever now. So that they know if they come back, I wasn't ignoring them. I was just in the bath. Um, and it was just like, <laughs> I just got more and more worked up about it until the bath went cold. And I was like, right, I need to get out now. And my phone ran out of battery. And I was like, it's time, it's time to leave. It's time to leave. So, yeah. Um, it's And then, like, just like that whole, like, the, the voices. <laughs> The way my brain tells me stuff like that when I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna choke. <laughs> um, just gets intense sometimes, and this week has been one of those where I'm like very scatty, uh, very like nothing is organised, etc. Thursday, we're there. Sorry, um, did my cleaning, went well. Congratulations, Rebecca. Left on time. Uh, the cat also made friends with me, which, like, was quite a big deal for me, because I do like animals. And, like, I feel like cats don't like me, but clearly they do. Um, and then me and Alex last night were like, should we get a cat? <laughs> well, I mean, like cats. Yeah, me too. Should we get a cat? No, we're not doing that. Oh, God. It's very funny. Um, I also want goats and chickens. We're going to get land, I think, and just do it all. Anyway, sorry. Uh... Yeah, so then I had my interview at the nursery, which, listen, was fine. You know I've talked about I wanted a nursery job. However, it's term time only, so it finishes in five weeks. They want me to have a new DBS done, which takes two months sometimes. Sometimes it can take lit three months, um, which means I wouldn't be starting until September anyway. To actually get into the process, you have to have two employer references. I've been self-employed forever, and the times I haven't been self-employed, I've worked for both of my parents. So, and they wanted all of my GCSEs, all of my A-levels, for a minimum wage job. To me, something doesn't add up. Wait, I haven't finished. It's also, because they took so long to reply to me, um, it's only Wednesday and Thursday mornings I'm available for a three-hour shift. That's all they've got two hours, three, two lots, three hour shifts a week, right? It's bank, it's a bank job. It's not even a permanent job, it's a bank job. Um, so I was like, yeah, sure. But I'll be totally honest with you, I don't know why they're hiring me. I feel like, is there any point, to be honest? Um, and like, I've sent just colleague references from waitressing because I'm not, I'm not hunting on like employers from years ago. I'm not that keen, right? Um, for literally, for a minimum wage job, I'm paid more to clean. Um, and like, now that I've got a grip of cleaning and using my Hoover to clean, I'm tempted to take on more cleaning hours. But let's have a, let's have a week of, of processing that before I make that decision. Um, because like, I do quite enjoy it. And I didn't expect myself to enjoy it as much as I do. But I think it's like, being at somebody's house and like knowing you're gonna make it better for them it feels so good so yeah anyway and like also what feels so good put 200 pounds in my savings this week woo for the first time in months maybe no in months um which honest to god what a fucking relief rebecca's finally getting it she's finally sorting it out so uh, that feels really good. And imagine if I could put three hundred pounds of savings. Is that what I mean? That would be cool too. So, uh, what am I saving for? A life, a life. Um, potentially on land. I don't know. Like astrology really confuses me because, according to the psychics and my astrology, next year I'm supposed to be traveling the world, not getting land. So I'm just like, 
I'm not I'm not diving into the land idea because I know what's been said about our future and like we're supposed to be traveling um don't know why don't know where don't know how but I could be to do with the book uh which by the way I'm doing all right with I'm nearly at 30,000 words folks 40 for a book 40 for a self-help book anyway so uh it's it's just about almost publishable um not finished though I want to finish it first it might go over 40,000 words and that's fine uh so yeah it will go over 40,000 words yeah what am I doing with that who knows who knows but uh yeah just like like the land idea not sure if it's gonna happen or not not sure if this is the time weekend i am alex is working again and last time i struggled with that a little bit but this time i've got a plan it's gonna be 26 yay um i'm gonna sunbathe naked in the garden like i did a few weeks couple weeks ago uh in the courtyard where no one can see me except the drone which i just stick my middle finger up at and cover my bits so rude i wish that was illegal I'm just like hovering over like pervert um yeah and then sorry i'm trying to figure out what time is it do i need to be oh no we're all good it's 10 we're all good gotta leave in a minute uh god this is gonna take so long to upload but never mind you're worth it um weekend yeah and then i'm gonna write more this weekend watch more of the office re-knit my sock because I finished knitting the sock and then I went to close off the sock at the end and I thought oh I'll just tie a knot it'll be fine wasn't fine you do in fact need to cast it off as you do with proper knitting I'm still learning right um we'll do it again watch my Instagram today because I'm going to put a uh, picture of said sock failure on there I think where's my brush there sorry um so yeah, I'm actually quite excited for my solo weekend now. And this is exactly what we needed. I needed to get used to that being on my own self-love thing rather than like being like, I can't live without Alex, which is sometimes what I get when I'm a bit insecure. So it's good that I've got more in control with that situation. Don't know where that accent came from. Okay catch up with you on monday i'll tell you about my riveting weekend and my riveting friday anything could happen um oh my god i've got to tell you about my other interview last night but i can't really tell you i don't think um but it's about a volunteering thing i'm doing for a charity um and it was a really intense interview and they asked me about my mental health and my life and um told them about all my childhood because that's what they wanted to know and it was weird and intense but um glad i did it feel like i will really fit in there we're all weird emotional people like me. Love you lots.